Look, the double show now. This is the double show show we show in. Show the head also. Right guys, we've been persisting with some sand put on, two hooks, and all we've been getting is uh, barbel. And uh, we've been fishing with live mullet as well. Uh, Kurt got that beautiful Blu-ray. Uh, I got a shy shock, some, some sort of shy shock I couldn't make out. And uh, yeah, I decided to switch over to a much bigger five or circle look. It's an octopus leg, it's been tenderized. Let's see how it goes. One fish for now, I'm going to try a couple of extra spots Try out there, maybe next to Kurt And move all the way down Down the rugged coastline guys and see how it goes We came here very late, fall of the tide As you can see Out front there it's dead low We came here very late again today Unfortunately, today is Friday 24th of November 2023 Came here very late but we're going to be here tomorrow as well uh, we're gonna fish tonight, we're gonna fish uh, Stray's Harbour Next spot, let's see how it goes here yeah. It's a little bit of a nice push in the water here yeah. And this is Muscle Cracker territory guys Anything bigger than 4 or 5 kilos and yeah, you're gonna have your work cut off for you getting them out here Very foul And I'm not fishing with the heaviest of tackle Caught some nice hull unit as well in the past and yeah, let's see how it goes Water is a bit cold So the fish might not be as gutso as usual You know, they pick up the bait It's more of nibbling But you simply don't know, yeah it Might be a 
small rockfish or clubfish or it could be galloon or mussel cracker we simply don't know On guys, on, on guys. Suck now, uh, just like I mentioned. Uh, nice fish, guys. Ah, he's still on, yes. Oh, nice fish. Ah, he's stuck again. On full, guys, he's still on. Ah, he's still on. Ah, good. <laughs> oh, what the fish I just lost now, guys. guys on again guys on again guys on again no on again guys uh, come on over there 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 yeah uh, yeah got him off got him out oh what you got here Ah, uh, 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 muscle crackers, yeah, that's what I thought, guys. These muscle crackers are pulling me flat here, every cost. <laughs> Come here, little fella. Yes, I knew it would be you guys. <laughs> ah, yes. Ah, uh, thank God. There it is, nice little muscle cracker, and that hook was just about to fall out. Look at that. There it goes safely released guys got the end of the muscle cracker let's go have a look this little beauty before we release him oh nice beautiful minus spines everybody right let's have a look at him beautiful There he goes, released to fight another day. All right, guys, that's the cut. Is gonna have one or two cars out here, and we're gonna be walking our way back to Sailor's Strand. And then, um, yeah, we're gonna get them there. I broke off earlier the previous clip, and we wanted to fish out there, but it's too low there. Perhaps we should have stayed there, but that's some of the lessons you learn. And uh, as you can see out there, we've got a lovely sunset. Uh, yeah, Kurt is going to have one or two cars and if anything happens, you guys will see it. In about three hours time we'll be fishing Stress Harbour. Uh, since we are here, we're going to give it a go. Why not? Uh, and then tomorrow morning we'll be back here. And yeah, I'll get back to you guys as soon as, as I can. Hope you enjoyed. Harbour and there's a lot of live bait out here. Uh, Mars bunker, mullet, a couple of small so uh, blacktail as well in between. Kurt is going to try and get some live bait, see how it goes. I'm going to fish with a live bait out there. Got some bloodworm. 
and uh, yeah, we'll just see how it goes. Morning folks, hope you're all doing well this is day two. Yesterday evening we were somewhere out here. You saw you saw me lose a cracker, catch a cracker, you saw Kurt lose what we suspect was a cracker, then land a cracker. Tide is coming in now slowly. And uh, yeah, I've got some armadillo on it. You saw me just you saw me remove earlier. And yeah, we're gonna have a few cars here and then slowly work our way back. As you can see the tide is coming in nicely now. We don't have much time left here, we were a bit late and it's becoming something of a cliche but yes get back to you guys soon, hopefully with some more footage Okay Okay folks, so nothing making there on the armadillo uh, Yeah, we moved back, it's getting quite uh, sketchy out there So for safety sake, we moved a bit back uh, It's Kurt over there, he's going to be fishing the bay that side there I'm going to have a few cars out here and I've got uh, bloodworm Let's see how it goes, I'm going to be fishing bloodworm and uh, sand peronia for this bay here yeah? We might move later to say the strand uh, let's see how it goes with the conditions today uh, Yesterday this bay did produce the evening So yeah, we'll see It's quite a walk from here to say the strand So we might stay here if the fish are on the bite here Alright, get back to you with you guys again soon move from there, it was a bit sketchy I'm fishing a little bit here, I have a few cars sand prone is uh, yeah, we forgot some of it at the place where we're renting so we don't have much so, yeah I'm going to be throwing a few other baits as well, bloodworm uh, we've got some mussels, some poultry as well some octopus and uh, that's about it, we're going to see how it goes here Yeah, hopefully I'll get back to you guys soon with something nice Okay, Kurt's gonna have a cast He's got some poultry on his uh, homemade dingle dangle Some of his dangles that he made himself He's gonna have a cast out here with some poultry uh, Yeah, the water's a bit on the cold side So something like poultry might just entice them uh, Let's see how it goes Times like this you really have to use as many baits as possible to see, you know, what might work and go with it okay, guys, I'm going to be using bloodworm uh, yeah, the sand prone is being stripped off the hook very easily this fish are using the cotton as to floss their teeth with it and yeah as mentioned earlier don't have a lot of sand prones, I'm going to be using a couple of other baits for the time being one of them is going to be bloodworm, as you can see there I hope you can see it yeah, just scratching around now at the moment Let's see how it goes Okay, plan C Plan A Did not work, plan B Fortunately not This is going to be plan C And we're more than likely just going to stay here And see how it goes Uh, yeah 
Let's do this, come on. We're casting out a blood worm and I might change the other blood worm on my bigger rod there, the 10 foot, and see how it goes. Yeah. Oh, I missed that pick. Like a volapet, zebra. Yep, it's a zebra, guys. Oh, and <laughs> the blood worm. Ah, beautiful little fish. And it's the first edible fish I've caught on my new uh, pen allegiance and pen rat. Have a look at this. See what we have here. Oh, a little steam brush. <laughs> Lovely. Okay. Off that steam brush goes. Oh, might have a smoothie on the hands here, folks. Got a little ray, some sort of ray, guys. Oh, don't burn me! All right, beautiful. Love a little specimen. Love a little specimen. Oh, you got caught in the wing there. Pretty sure this is an eagle and not a duck ball. They kind of look the same. Let's have a look at this guy. That's the business end, you don't want to don't want anything near that folks. The same as I was foul looked for some reason. As you can see he's whooping his tail. Very dangerous folks, be careful of the business end. We're gonna get this guy released now again. I'll grab the tail folks, just so that the dangerous part is not dangerous. Alright, easy peasy. Okay, there he goes. <laughs> 